What's it like to use an old rack mount server as a regular computer? For some horrible reason, I've always wanted to know. So today we're turning this decommissioned and subtly branded Google server into the world's probably worst gaming PC. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy repurposing e-waste in hilariously terrible ways, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. This bright yellow monstrosity is an old decommissioned Google search appliance. In our last video on this thing, we took it apart, laughed at its hilariously yellow Google paint job, and basically just goofed around with it. Well, today we're done goofing off. It's time to put this thing to serious use. I mean, inside it's basically just a really powerful, but relatively normal Intel based computer. But there are a few things that stand in the way of just plugging a monitor into this thing and using it. First of all, it has incredibly loud fans. Oh, it's horrible. Another big issue is onboard video. As you might imagine, the onboard video on this thing is terrible because it's hardly ever needed. And a normal PCIe video card won't fit for several reasons that we'll take a look at in a bit. But I really wanna play Oblivion Remastered on this thing. And good old Micro Center, ever my enabler, sent me quite a nice video card to hopefully not, but quite possibly sacrifice to this project. So let's turn this thing on and I'll show you the first of many, many questionable decisions that I'll be making today. Right after this word about today's incredibly relevant sponsor, yeah, you guessed it, Micro Center. I feel so lucky to live so close to the St. David's Micro Center. I'm seriously there like once a week just buying random things for videos. Where else can you walk into a physical store to buy video card, 3D printing stuff, soldering supplies, loose capacitors, and a friggin' Firewire 400 cable? Micro Center is like all of the computer and electronics stores I remember as a kid, all rolled up into one glorious masterpiece of retail. August is Micro Center's Build Upgrade Save event, with incredible deals on things like CPUs, SSDs, motherboards, and yes, GPUs. Now is the perfect time to pick up something like a Radeon 970 XT, quite possibly the best video card on the market, and upgrade your own totally normal PC, just like we're doing here today. And if you need a new SSD, and you don't have your own wheel of SSDs, Micro Center is running incredible deals on Samsung SSDs throughout the month of August. One, two, four terabytes of storage. With member pricing so low, you actually have to be logged in to see it. Plus, Phoenix, Arizona is finally getting their own Micro Center. Those looking to get VIP deals should sign up for a free 128 gigabyte flash drive when the store opens. So thank you so much, Micro Center, for once again believing in these kinds of shenanigans and sponsoring today's video. I am such a big fan and working with you has always been an absolute dream. For today's festivities, I've taken out all of my finest jank a monitor from Sun Microsystems, a PlayStation 2 USB keyboard, and of course, the hamster mouse. So let's apply power and see just how loud this thing is, even with the cover on. So this thing has six one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drives in it, and what I'd like to do is raid them all together, and then instead of installing Ubuntu correctly, we're gonna install it directly to the raid as if it was a giant hard drive. So we'll choose RAID 5. All right, that gives us four and a half terabytes. And let's boot this off of the Ubuntu installer. F11 for the BIOS boot manager. All right, tell it to boot from front USB. All right, let's install Ubuntu on this thing. We're going to erase our whole disk, which is the RAID, and install there. Yeah, this Perk 6 Dell SDA, that is our RAID controller, so we are installing directly on the RAID. Okay, install complete. Let's see if this will boot directly into Ubuntu. Well, that's not a good sign. And jump cut to I have re-raided the RAID as a RAID 6, leaving one of the hard drives out as a hot swap drive and we have installed and booted directly into Ubuntu. You might also notice that the fans are a heck of a lot quieter. Well, I've done that through the magic of IPMI tool. Yeah, you'll be pleased to know that I am running sudo commands from a random Reddit thread, but hey, it worked. Might as well install Steam while we're in here. 
For a comparison, here we are trying to load The Long Dark using the built-in integrated video. Yeah, this is literally a PowerPoint slideshow. Okay, so I'll admit I have done a bit of experimentation because I read on some forum threads that these PCI slots on these risers don't provide enough power to actually power a PCIe graphics card. So I tested it with this NVIDIA GeForce GT440, which is completely powered by the slot itself, and this actually worked. So we know that this is possible. So issue number one, solved. Let me pop one of these risers out though, and I can show you issue number two. These are 8x PCI slots and there are two of them, but they end. You cannot just stick a regular PCI card in there because it's blocked by the end of the slot. Now, some people actually just melt or cut the end of the slot off, stick the card in and it does work. But then that brings you to issue number three. If a card is too tall, it's not going to fit with the case closed. If we try to put something like this in there, yeah, obviously it's not gonna work. But through the clever use of a cheap Amazon purchase, I have solved both of those issues. This is a riser to go from 8X to 16X. Plugs in there, no problem. And then our graphics card happily slots on top. But what about closing the case? You all yelled at me about that last time. Well, don't worry, that's not an issue. The riser cable actually fits through this hole. Check this out. Oh, that is some grade A jank, huh? Our graphics card can happily sit right on top. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so the only remaining issue then is power. But if we're really willing to go jank, that's easy. Now I will note that it is technically possible to splice into the power supplies in this server because those are 850 watt power supplies, but I'm not quite sure about the headroom and uh, this just feels a lot safer. We'll just secure this with some high quality Velcro. Same for the power supply. That's not going anywhere. And then to switch on the external power supply, we only have to short two pins in this header here, but instead of doing that, we're gonna use this, which hooks a lighted switch up to those two pins. Can't forget to peel the plastic off of our fresh graphics card. Oh yeah. That's the stuff right there. You know, I think this setup is now too cursed for the hamster mouse. We need to find a more cursed mouse. Oh yeah, it's the most Philadelphia mouse ever made. All right, so I have this monitor plugged into both the onboard VGA and HDMI from the video card through an adapter. I'm pretty sure what I have to do here is boot this off of VGA until we get to Ubuntu and then it will switch to this video card. I don't know if there's a way to get around that. All right, powering up the video card. It's spinning. All right, Ubuntu is booting. Let's see what's on the other display. Oh yeah, there we go, we're on DVI-D. This is coming out of the video card. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. And now that we're in the desktop, our script has quieted down the fans and NeoFetch shows us we are indeed using the RX 9070 XT. And yeah, the screen is very responsive now. And if we switch the inputs now, we have actually two desktops, one on VGA and one on our new video card. Oh yeah, check out that difference. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe we have ourselves a gaming computer here. Of course, we are totally wasting this excellent video card by plugging it into a times eight slot, but we're gaming on the server. I can't help but notice one of the hard drives in the raid is blinking yellow instead of green. So I'm just gonna ignore that. All right, will this run Oblivion Remastered under Steam Proton? I mean, I've been playing this game on my freaking Steam Deck. 
I don't see why it wouldn't work on this dual Xeon 48 gigs of RAM monstrosity. Oh, it runs it all right. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, we are playing Oblivion Remastered on the Google server. All of our stupid dreams have come true. Oh my God, shut up. I don't care. Shut up. All right, well, uh, the game is playable. You know, the frame rate isn't as good as you'd expect from a top of the line Radeon card, but we are playing on a 2009 Google server. <laughs> Certainly, everything else about this computer is a bottleneck for this graphics card, but it works. Look at it. Absolutely wonderful. So that is, uh, well, abusing a Google search appliance. And truthfully, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this thing now. I mean, it certainly doesn't make sense to continue running it with this nice fancy graphics card. And it really doesn't make sense to run this thing as a server. It is so outdated and so power hungry, we'd be better off using a Raspberry Pi. But if you have any ideas on what to do with this thing next, let me know in the comments down below. In any event, that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more weird stuff like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And I just want to give a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members. Thank you so much, each and every one of you for supporting me and supporting this channel and all the weird stuff I do. I am so very grateful and I just could not do this without you.